Hello, I'm Dr. Lauren L. Graham, Professor of Psychology at Our Lady of the Lake University. I'd like to share a little bit with you about my decision to go to graduate school and to go into the field of cognitive psychology. When I started as an undergraduate student, I thought I wanted to go into child clinical psychology. Really, that was because that was what I knew about psychology. Like many people, I associated psychology with the clinical and counseling side of things. But as I took courses, I learned that there's so much more to psychology. I became interested in basically everything, but I found my path in cognitive psychology. Part of that was because I was just fascinated by how the human mind works. I also had the opportunity to work with some faculty members who were cognitive psychologists and I really enjoyed that experience and learned a lot and that guided me on my pathway. So I was drawn to that and I found that that was where I belonged and where I was supposed to be. So what best prepared me for graduate school? Well, I think the major factor was the fact that I had been a research assistant as an undergraduate with two faculty members. Um, I graduated with a BA from UTSA, and I worked with Dr. Dorothy Flanagan there and Dr. Michael Ryan. And I learned so much about the research process from them, and I was really immersed in it. They really involved me a lot for being an undergraduate student. And so that really gave me some great insight into what to expect in graduate school. I also received very good information from faculty members. I had developed relationships with them. And so they gave me advice and I tried to take that to heart as best I could. So how did I decide where I wanted to go to graduate school? Well, I took the advice of my faculty mentors and I applied to as many places as I could afford to. How I started was to research programs and research faculty and find out what they were doing. And I applied to places where there was a faculty member that was very interested in what I was interested in at the time. And so that's a piece of advice that I have for you. Really spend some time researching graduate programs and seeing what faculty do there and making some of your decision at least based on that. And it was a difficult decision. Like many of you, I'm a first generation college student. And so my family, uh, which is kind of small, was all here in San Antonio at the time. And they were also growing older. And I was very concerned about leaving. San Antonio was really the only place I ever knew. My family didn't travel. Um, we didn't, I didn't grow up with those means to do that. And so it was kind of a scary thing to uh, leave home and go off on my own. It was also kind of exciting in a way, you know, going somewhere new um, and having different experiences. And so a part of me definitely embraced that, but it was difficult. So some final thoughts for you. Embrace your undergraduate experience. Like I said before, it's okay if you don't know right off the bat exactly what you want to do. And it's okay to change your mind. There's so many areas of psychology and you'll find your path. Also get involved. Be involved as an undergraduate student in the world of psychology. Join Psychi if you're eligible for that. That's the National Honor Society in Psychology. Look into McNair if you're eligible for that. It's a great research experience. Also, get to know your faculty. So get to know your faculty members outside of class, approach them, ask for their advice about careers and about graduate school. Try to work with a faculty member on a research project. That's a great way to get experience. I hope this helps you as you think about graduate school and your undergraduate career. And please contact me if I can help you in any way.